This is Amos chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I had brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shem, Rakakadash. Secondly, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS that do rule well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered across the four corners of the earth where Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah has placed you at. Shalom to you, I came out there risking your life and your freedom to preach this gospel and this good news via highways and byways or via the internet. Shalom to you. Shalom to you, confusion to face Israelites. You Israelites are like the members of the other nation, but your bloodline goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And if your spirit can receive it, you're an Israelite. Okay? Shalom to you, sincere Agua out there. You few women that receive edifications from the videos you come across from the true men of the Lord. Right? And shalom to you, few sincere children out there, right, that come across these lessons and receive edification as well. Okay? This is the brother Michael from the tribe of Judah. 144, coming to you again with another quick lesson. I brought the Zot, which means Lord willing. This lesson is edifying. And the um, precept I had just read before, you know, I had, you know, basically before I started everything, was Amos chapter 3, verse 1 and 2. Okay? Because here's telling you who who's the Lord dealing with, okay? And what he did. All right, there was a particular race, a particular nation, so like him, of individuals that he brought out of the land of Egypt, okay, out of the land of bondage. And those same individuals are living now, all right? The ones that you can consider, you know, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, Latinos, Dominicans, and all them, now nah, they have names, okay? And we all originate. The Israelites originate from the 12 tribes, okay? Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Zebulon, Nephati, Asher, you know, excuse me, and so forth, and so far, you know, Reuben, you know, the rest of the tribes that do exist, okay? But the but Yahweh Bashim Shah is only dealing with one nation of people in particular. Yeah, you have the other nations that rule right now as that was to punish, you know, punish the children of Israel for their iniquities, okay? For us going off and breaking the covenant is the reason why we're in the land of our captivity, but we're about to be delivered from this. The, the hopeful elect is going to be, the elect is going to be delivered from the from the nation, I mean from the, um, Salakim, from, um, from bondage. If I may say, okay. Because if you if if you look outside, it it should be really really identical to you who the nation of Israel is. If you if you look, you can really see the curses that it talks about in Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight reaches out matches up with our people that we see on a daily basis. Okay. Because. Many a blessings is going to come through the nation of Israel when we get put back in our power, okay? Yeah, we might have the curses on us, but we're still a blessed nation. We're still the nation that Yahweh Bashem El Shah is dealing with, okay? And due to the fact that he is dealing with us, he has to chastise us, all right? And yeah, it might not, it might not feel good. It might not be a, a, a witch con, but it's a blessing in the way when you think about it. Because any good parent that loves their child is going to discipline their child for going off or doing the wrong thing. All right? That way, that's another good way of, of showing love and affection. Because I was disciplined when I was younger, when I did things. All right? My parents, and I'm very highly appreciative of that. Okay? Because that goes a, a very long way. All right? This is Genesis chapter 12. Verse 3. Right? And this is this is 
Yahweh Bashem Yahushua talking to Abraham. And I will bless thee. So I will bless them that bless thee. And curse him that curse thee. And, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. Yes. All right. Because Abraham had a son named Isaac. Isaac had a son named Jacob. Jacob's name was, was, was turned from Jacob to Israel. And that's where you get the Israelites from. All right. And through the Israelites is how the rest of the, the rest of the world is going to be blessed. All right. All the families, the Kendricks of the earth is going to be blessed, you know, through the Israelites. Because the Israelites are the ones that's going to rule next. Right now, the world, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. And it should be very, 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 very identical who the wicked is. Okay? Who's ruling right now? All right? Because I'm going to be very careful what I say as well because I don't want my video to get flagged or anything. But, you know, just to throw it out there. You know, when you think about the earth is given to the hands of the wicked, just think about who's ruling right now. All right. Think about the laws and um, the measure and the different draconian laws that these devils are coming with down with each and every day. OK. All these different executive orders. But, you know, the average Jake is not going to research or really read anything or, or anything. OK. The average jig now is so worried about all everything else that nothing else really matters to them. They not they don't care about Yahweh Bashim Oh, but when Jacob's trouble hits, then they're gonna learn. But for some it's gonna be too late. Alright? But not to jump off topic or anything, but the nations, all the families, the kindreds of the of the world are gonna be blessed through the Israelites. Alright? Because when the rulership that we see, which is about to come to a very end, is completely done away with, it's going to be a new rulership that's going to come in, you know? And you're not going to have the different kindreds of the world, you know, being in a um, sadful, sorrowful state, all right? When the Israelites come back on power, the whole world is going to rejoice, okay? Because the blessings are going to flow. All right. I'm ended off with this, and this is just an ultra quick lesson. I just was just rolling through the um spirit today because I was just thinking about, you know, the love that Yahweh Bashem Yahushua has for his people. You know, yeah, we in the land of our captivity. Yeah, you know, we have we we even had lost our um identity, but he gave it back to us. He gave us back the identity of who we are. The tribe we come from, our name, you know, the true names, you know, Yahweh, who the world English calls God, okay, Baha Shem, which means in the name, okay, Yahweh Shah, and Yahweh Shah is our Lord and Savior, who the world English calls Jesus Christ, all right, you know, that's Yahweh Shah the Hamashiach, and he's coming back to deliver his people, all right. And you know, and, and each and every day when I wake up, I say the Wadi Hal Bashim Yahushua because I'm very, I'm very grateful, you know, and humble, and, and 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 just, you know, words can't even describe how I feel about what I have have learned because my eyes is open and I'm very content with the things that I have. That that's what you know. That's another thing, in, you know, in it in its own self as well. You know, having a good level of contentment. All right, because Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man, is gonna bless us like we like, like no other. All right, and we just gotta hold fast and just wait on him because he's gonna do it on this side. He's gonna look after his people, but the true abundance of the blessings is gonna flow in the kingdom. All right, mend it off with this. This is Acts chapter three, verse twenty-five. Okay. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant which Yahweh Bashem Yahweh made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Okay? So all the kindreds of the earth is going to be blessed through who? The seed of Abraham. Alright? Again, Abraham had a son named Isaac. Isaac 
had a son named Jacob. Jacob name was transformed to Jacob to Israel. All right. So that lineage goes all the way down to, to, to the Israelites. And the blessing goes to the Israelites. All right. The blessing went to, to Jacob because Jacob finessed Esau out of the blessing. Esau sold his birthright. He despised his birthright. All right. Because Esau was the firstborn, meaning the, the birthright and the blessings would have went to Esau. But due to love that Yahweh Bashem El Shai has for his people, okay? Did he not say of you all the families on the other earth, you, only you have I known, okay? So, I mean, only, if he, if, if he, if he has only known us, meaning he's only dealing with us. Just got to really sit and think about that, all right? We may be in a low state. But we in this state for a reason. It was a punishment to correct us and, and, and altercate our minds, you know, so we didn't know, oh man, we can't, I'm, I'm not going to ever do that again. Okay? So, the why do you how about Shemiah with y'all? Again, because you are merciful. Okay? Because it might seem far fetched to brothers that lack something called vision. Okay? And if it's not. They can't see it right in their face. They don't believe. But here it is. You have the minnows on the highways and the byways on the other, you know, social media platforms. And you have the sincere agua and the children that's calling upon the names of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh So enough said about, really about that. Okay? You have the believers, you know. And Lord willing, I pray Yahweh Bashem Yahweh gives me the spirit to and keep enduring, you know, until the very end. And you sincere Akim and you sincere agua as well. All right, but all the Kendricks of the earth, all the nations that you see now are going to be blessed. All the blessings are coming through the Israelites, and the Israelites are going to rule next. Okay, so really, in a nutshell, really fuck what you see right now. What you see the so called white man and his arrogancy ruling, his kingdom is done. He already know his kingdom is done, so that's why he's going to come down like a like like a madman, sparing none. Okay, so giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakadash. The ones to the elders and apostles of GMS to do well. Peace, love, hope, and salutations to the hopeful elect that scattered across the four corners of the earth. But Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shah has placed you at. All right, I can stay safe, stay strong. Love you, brothers. Shalom.